So uh, Sung and I wanted to you know, thank you all for coming and, and uh, um, uh, participating and witnessing this event. Uh, we received a lot of help uh, to get to this point. Um, the cost of our counseling sessions seem well worth it now. <laughs> In fairness, my group therapy started long before I met Sung Um It wasn't because I was, there was anything wrong with me. Uh, it was just I was trying to improve myself, like every manly, metrosexual man who loves cats does. <laughs> I learned a lot, like men shouldn't cry unless they can be gracious when doing so. Um, that people can change whenever they want, they just decide not to now. <laughs> but my biggest lesson was just about the four types of knowing. And that seems extremely relevant, uh, so I'd, let me talk about those four types. There's the things you know you know. We know that Sungin said very dear things to her parents, and we don't need to know Korean to understand that. You friends know how important it is that uh, you came here uh, today. Uh, we really appreciate um, your time, um, your feelings, your words of wisdom. Kathy, Eric, Nora, Vish, Sukbal, Tony, Teresa, um, everyone. Uh, if Sung and I, and I ever open up that uh, club in Liberia, you'll definitely be in our A-list. <laughs> mom and Dad, where's Mom? <laughs> you know I love you very much, uh, even though as a Chinese man, I mean, Taiwanese man. Um, I'm not allowed to say that. Um, I'm 41, but one of my, uh, my fondest memories of you, Dad, was running to greet you when I was a little boy after you came home from work. And you'd sit down at the sofa and I'd climb in your lap and you'd rub your, your chin against my, my chin. I'd say, wow, that's rough. <laughs> You drink Coors Light. We'd watch Walter Cronkite the CBS Evening News, and you'd always encourage me to drink. <laughs> Mom, one of my fondest memories was simply every night you coming to tuck me uh, to sleep, uh, even if I was faking it. You'd pull the sheets up high on my chest and wrap me up like a, a package and I can still smell the oil of Olay on your hands, which, by the way, works very well for men. <laughs> the nice thing about being Asian American is that I can say I love you and still make you a bowl of beef noodles. Sometimes you guys would fight, and uh, Nancy, Jeannie, and Elaine and I would hide in the closet underneath the sleeping bags, and I'd feel safe. Um, Nancy and Jeannie, Elaine, where are you? Jeannie, Nancy. No. Um, you're great sisters, great friends. I never thought I'd say to you, thank you for giving me the silent treatment when I was unruly, and thank you for letting me wear your dresses. <laughs> There's a second type of knowing, and that's the things you know you don't know. The things you know you don't know. Um, we males don't know why you females say one thing, but you mean another. And we, we also don't know why we as males do the things we sense we shouldn't do, even though the repercussions would take much longer than actually doing what we sense we should have done. So Todd, was it really worth playing basketball last week? Jamie, where's Jamie? Did you really think Cammy would be okay with using the two-way video thing on your iPhone as babysitting? <laughs> as my friend Garrett, where's Garrett? 
<laughs> as my friend Garrett used to say, uh, or mumble over many beers, just agree. Just agree. Just agree. I used to look at Garrett, who's sort of insane, and, and I'd say, what are you talking about? What do you mean agree? And he'd get militant. He'd get sort of like angry. Just agree. If you don't agree, you'll see what happens if you don't agree. <laughs> well, Garrett, I agree. <laughs> They're the things you don't know you know. And for me, that's the confidence thing. Like, Sangha and I didn't know how Liberia would be, but it's been fine. Um, especially after I found out that crabs could be purchased for a dollar. And Sangan found the Korean restaurant with, you got it, kimchi. <laughs> Men don't know if they'll be good husbands until they are good husbands. I used to look at my friends who had kids and I used to ask them, how do you do it? I mean, how do you have the patience and how do you have the energy to just raise your kids? And basically they'd get sort of philosophical and they'd, with bags under their eyes and a little bit of drool at the corner of their mouths, they'd say, you do it because you have to, asshole. <laughs> Finally, there's the things you don't know you don't know. You don't know you don't know. And of all the types of knowing or not knowing, this is the part that I'm most excited about. Song and I can't wait to do, uh, to, uh, I can't wait for all the adventures that we're gonna have together. Um, it could be having 10 children. <laughs> Dad, I said that for you. I would never do that to you. <laughs> It could be that I become a religious man. I said that for you. <laughs> and for you. <laughs> to me, working side by side as hard as you can, uh, full on, consistently, to try to create the unexpected, that to me is living. Sangan, you're one of the, well, you are the kindest, sassiest, smartest, most patient, stubborn, loving, sexy, uh, women wrapped up in a size zero that I've ever met. <laughs> I thank you in advance for our travels to come. Song is a little bit tricky. She's sort of like a spy. She does things efficiently and quietly. But spy, I see you. I'm happy to be with a companion who accepts me for who I am and therefore allows me to grow to be a better man. I thank your parents. Where's Mrs. Chung? Oh, okay. I thank you too. Um, I, you're probably the most humble, generous people I have met outside my family. Um, Mrs. Chan somehow has fattened me, has somehow fattened me under the stress of wedding preparation. And I can't believe that, Mr. Chun, this is the first vacation you've taken in your whole life. <laughs> what a choice. I see Sangan when I see you and Mrs. Chun together, and it's like a fine, grainy film. And it's fun to now think that our families can be joined together with all their quips, hiccups, burps, and long speeches. <laughs> a toast to your family, a toast to beautiful wife, beautiful life to us all.